this has been a very uh, trying moment. I think uh, everyone is a bit surprised, frankly. And I think, uh, again, we have to look back and analyze what the intelligence was in terms of their position in Afghanistan. You know, they used uh, the time, more than a year from the Doha Agreement, to infiltrate all through Afghanistan, to co-opt many uh, Afghan political leaders. And I think what is, uh, I think the greatest sort of uh, shock is to the degree that Afghan military forces surrendered and Afghan political leaders simply handed over their, their towns and their district centers. Uh, the expectation was that there'd be a more coherent and more effective uh, uh, resistance. And that also, I think, traces to the government of Kabul. They just did not have the kind of uh, the will or the ability uh, and the institutional mechanisms to effectively fight. We went into Afghanistan to destroy al-Qaeda. They had just attacked us and killed thousands of Americans. Uh, we did that, and we still have an ongoing obligation to continue to disrupt and degrade al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups. They're there. Uh, they will try, uh, and, but we will thwart them, I hope. Uh, but I think going in was uh, entirely justified. Uh, and then I think having succeeded in defeating decisively the Taliban in 2001 and 2002, uh, we tried our best to create a uh, civil society that would be uh, tolerant of its people and respect of its people. Uh, the politics, the culture, the, the, the political dynamics, uh, the, the lack of cooperation by countries in the region, particularly Pakistan, made this task very difficult.